from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. A fire tore through a duplex in Imperial Beach, forcing dozens of people to evacuate. It happened about 4.30 this morning. Firefighters say the initial call was about a propane tank on fire. When crews arrived, they saw flames shooting out of the roof of the apartment. Now, everybody did make it out safely. Oh, the day before Thanksgiving, the Red Cross is now helping the families that have been displaced by that fire. Tens of millions of people heading out and making the journey to gather around the turkey with loved ones. According to AAA, the number of people traveling this Thanksgiving weekend is up almost 5% over last year, making travel volume this year the highest since 2005. Now, if you are headed out, you'll be sharing the roads with more than 54 million other travelers. Rocks seeming to come out of nowhere, smashing car windshields and hitting cars on the Coronado Bridge. One driver was taken to the hospital after his car was hit. He has some minor injuries. Another driver says he was driving eastbound when suddenly he heard a barrage of rocks hitting his windshield and car hood. Neither he nor his passengers were hurt. CHB officers say there were no reports of people standing nearby, so at this point they're calling it a mystery. All right, time to check that Thanksgiving forecast. Megan. Oh boy, temperatures are going to be dropping tomorrow. Today, pretty mild. Highs pretty close to normal. Mid to upper 60s at the coast, right around 70 inland. Mid 50s in the mountains and 70s in the deserts. And we will see the best chance for showers arrive tomorrow morning, early, early in the morning. In fact, peak timing will be between, between about 3 a.m. and about 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, with only a slight chance for any showers lingering into the afternoon. We'll start to see some clearing skies, though it is going to be fairly cool and breezy for our Thanksgiving. There is a very slight chance for a stray shower out ahead of the cold front tonight after about 7 o'clock, but most areas won't see rain until after midnight. Mid-60s tomorrow and Friday along our coast, and then we'll see temperatures return to the 70s by Sunday. Inland neighborhoods were in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow through Saturday, and there is a slight chance for a few isolated showers late Friday night into Saturday morning, and then drying out as offshore winds return on Sunday. We'll see to warmer temperatures then. Quite chilly for our Thanksgiving in our mountains in the 40s. Put those gusty winds, it's going to be feeling quite brisk and temperatures in the desert staying in the 70s. Virginia. All righty. Thanks so much, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from the App Store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.